not gonna lie, this boa does give me loofah moments. <laughs> She's ready for a shower. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle and new rainbow high dolls are out. So let's get into it, which I was watching Johnny's Toy World because he just recently posted a couple from the new series and it doesn't say series five on the box. So are these officially not series five? five dolls even though we're all calling them series five i thought that was an interesting point because normally like up here it would say what series it is and on these boxes it doesn't on these boxes it doesn't say it just says series it doesn't say series five so strange right so this is a um another fashion design focused doll her name is priscilla i think we have three fashion focused dolls four fashion focused dolls i don't remember how many i know there's more than one uh in the Rainbow High universe, but like I said, this is Priscilla. One of my favorite right off the bat when I saw the first pictures leak of these dolls. I can't believe, like, it was funny. Sometimes I've noticed with Rainbow High, we'll get leaks and then it will take months for them to come out, or like, a, not months, but a decent amount of time. These were like leaked and within like two weeks, they were on Amazon. So I got these from Amazon, the ones that I did buy. I didn't buy the whole set. I'm trying to not go crazy and buy every single doll. <laughs> it's hard, but I'm trying. I'm trying really, really hard. So this is Priscilla Perez. Sorry, I forgot to mention her last name. And just like with the Series 2 Shadow High dolls, we're not getting an extra outfit anymore. We're just getting uh, accessories, which I'm not... I mentioned in all of my Shadow High videos, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Um... I just prefer the second outfit. Like this one, I actually like that she has a phone and a laptop and the makeup brushes. So I feel like you're getting a little bit of everything. And of course you're getting the extra hangers, which I guess you can hang her boa on. I don't know. I <laughs> I feel like I would have rather had like extra shoes or something than the hangers. Just saying the, but I feel like the hangers are probably cheaper to make. Maybe that's what it is. I think overall though she's stunning. I like what they're doing with the boxes where we're having see, let me see if I can get the glare, see the sketch design right here of the character on the plastic and then also the sketch design which you can kind of see. I'll show you that when I take it out on the back of the design of the box too. So you get a little bit of like this extra element of like design on the plastic. I like it. I think she really pops with the darker background on this. Like I think it's beautiful. I really do. And then this is uh, the first time we're seeing the square packaging. Like we saw with Shadow High Series 2 since they obviously the outfit is missing on the side. And then also I just like that for like stacking purposes. If you are going to keep these in box, they stack up really nicely because the square <laughs> boxes versus the ones with the curved edge. I just like the curved edge added something a little different to these dolls and the square just kind of makes it look like every other box but still very outstanding design. I love that overall. We have two characters and I feel like on every box it kind of rotates two different characters on the back here and I just love their sketches. Their color is so so beautiful so beautiful and of course on the back it says what they normally say so it's like Rainbow High doesn't follow trends we make them. Yes 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 and then it says watch out Shadow High in the world of fashion we always make the cut. So they have that little bit of competition on the boxes like we've seen before. I love her. I Like I said, when I first saw the initial like, oh my gosh, Series 5 is coming out, the pink really jumped at me just because I obviously love pink and red, <laughs> obviously. Uh, and I like that her uh, eye color kind of matches mine because mine's kind of like a brownish with like a hazel trim to it. So I'm like, oh, it's my mini me without me having to do any customization work pretty much so far. So I love her like this in the box. But of course, I know why you're here. Let's take her out of the box. All right, so in the back of the box, we see the sketch art back here. So beautiful. Like I, I kind of want them to release these sketches as like just pieces of art that you can buy because I probably would buy some. Uh, I just think they're just really, really cute. And I think it's like showing us a little bit maybe of like their design in it or something. I don't know. I just really like it. And let me show you first off. So of course they come with comb and a uh stand and of course it's glittery pink to match her it almost has like a not a red i don't know what to coral salmon salmon maybe maybe salmon i don't know this is a little bit more pink than her outfit though and then going into the accessories i'll show them like this and then we'll take them out so we get a laptop that has fashion design sketches on it on the back of the laptop it says rainbow high in gold and it comes with here let's see some cute little accessories of brushes a little blush palette possibly and a cell phone in a case which i love the cell phone and cases so much so good 
thank you. I think all of them should come with cell phones, like I said earlier in my Shadow High videos, just because I feel like with that, then you can interchange the cases with the dolls and stuff. And it reminds me of the Bratz 2015 era. So I loved it. I love it. I love it. But yeah, you get a fun little assortment of pieces here. And I, again, I like the cell phone. I feel like the brushes are getting a little like, okay, we get it. They all have makeup brushes, but you know what? You can have little cups in your dollhouse and they all have their own brushes. They don't have to share, you know, I don't know. I don't know where they're thinking of that, but let's get into this beautiful, beautiful doll. I do have two little things that I'm kind of like ee, concerned on. So let's get into it. All right. So here, <laughs> let's get into Priscilla Perez. I think she's stunning. I'm, she's giving me almost like old school glamour mixed with Y2K. I don't know why that was giving me this, but I don't know if it's just like the hair and then like the boa, but also with this outfit, it's a little throwback. It's giving me a lot of different feelings. So into her face here, beautiful hazel kind of colored eyes. I'm living. I love the, the hair is pulled back away from the face and giving us multi colors here. It's not just one tone of pink. We have light pinks. We even have some like salmon colors in there. So I think we have about three to four different tones of hair. Now there is crispy. Can you hear it? Um, the curls do have product in it, so I know anyone out there who is great at restyling hair will wash it and make it look even more beautiful and voluminous, but we have four giant, no, five giant curls back here, and I don't hate it. I mean, it is box hair. Keep that in mind. Um, I do like the hair, like I said, is pushed back away from her face, and she does have one little pony side here. I mean, this is a little messy on the side, but... Mm, you know, I, for this doll, I'm just literally going to have her just on a stand looking like this beautiful. So I don't really mind it. I do like that she has like a little white shimmer then with a bright pink around her eye. I feel like it just goes really well with her outfit and the lipstick is perfect. This one's good. I don't have any flaws on this doll. And then going into the outfit, I love the rhinestones on the top. We have a little RH belt. And then the boa is kind of cute. I like the little pom-poms. It looks like a loofah not gonna lie this boa does give me loofah moments <laughs> she's ready for a shower but it works like it's cheesy but cute okay and then i love her super long can i get a close-up super long acrylics yes 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 and then these are pleather and laced pleather and laced okay like actual are those plastic rivets oh my god they are plastic rivets okay these gloves alone amazing detail 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 now i do have a flaw in here which this type of satin material when you use it for a doll outfit and then you put the little plastic as as melissa calls them conjinkers um like I, when you put the little plastic pieces through it and cut it it leaves a hole in the satin material and i hate that and then also i don't know i didn't my hands are not wet i promise but there's like stains that look like the dress got wet or something. So what is oozing something on here that created these stains? But I don't know if the camera will pick it. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. But there's like water spot stains. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a residue, oil, grease of the hair. I don't know. Her hair is falling out. Uh, but there's stains here. And then I don't know if you can see. I'm going to try to get close up. There's holes in the dress from the little plastic pieces. So when you cut the plastic pieces, there's going to be a little bit of hole left over, uh, you know, and then I don't know if you can see these little stains. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. Uh -huh. It bothers me because if you take the boa off, you're going to see the stains. Now the boa does have, let me, oh, actually, I kind of love it like that. You might have to stay like that. That's cute. So the boa has plastic pieces, like elastic pieces that have it on her arm. Are they elastic? Uh, yes, they're very tight elastic. So if you were really wanting to, don't cut these plastic bands. Slip it off the arm and then you can slip it back on and it'll hold it in place. I kind of like it like that. It's like just kind of like floating behind her. Hmm, gonna leave it like that and see how I feel. I, like I said, the sleeves are probably the best part on this doll and I love the rhinestones here. She does have these very beautiful, they're kind of like rhinestoned earrings. See here, like those are really pretty. I like that. I would have liked a necklace, but that's probably asking for a lot. And then these shoes, simple in the front, but I like it. I really do. And then look at the bottom. 
gold bottom heels painted. So they're giving us the detail on the bottom. I like that. I like these shoes. I feel like these shoes go with the outfit. I really do. I feel like would I've loved them to have maybe a couple little rhinestones on the top. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but I feel like that's asking, again, I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, complaining. I'm not complaining. I really like her. I just feel like, mm, mm, you know, like a little touch of extra detail since we are missing the outfit. Um, let me double check. Yes. So I want to double check and see if these were two separate pieces, like this little top with the dress. No, this is all one solid dress piece. So keep that in mind that you're not getting separate pieces with these two right here. I think she's very lovely. I mean, we have the same articulation that we've had before. Do we have that? Yes, we have head rotation. She, I mean, she's giving me glamour. I really love her. I love her color scheme. I think, yes, she's in the pink world, but she's not like Bella pink where it was so pastel. And then she's not Stella pink where it's really dark, you know? It's giving me that I'm gonna go with salmon slash coral kind of world of pink because when you look at the hair very close up, you do see a slight orange tinge, tint, tinge to it, tint, tinge, I don't know. And it's not too much, but it's just enough. And I really love the gold pieces to it. Would I've loved a little gold choker? Yes, I think it needs a gold choker. The shoes are, yes, simple, but I feel like it still works with the outfit. I mean, pieces that stand out are definitely going to be the armbands because you have all of that pleather material. Again, she's stunning. I really think she's a very, very, very beautiful doll. And if you love pink as much as I do, uh, <laughs> I mean, I think having her Bella, Stella, you know, and just keep, you know, just expanding with this pink world. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I love it. Now, again, going to the pieces and my, I can't believe I'm going to say I'm tired of it already, but opening up all the shadow high dolls, do we really need more makeup brushes? And I feel like that somebody was saying that too. It's like, how many laptops could you use? How many, um, what are they all? Oh, blow dryers. I think some of the dolls come with the blow dryers. I'm like, I get it. They have the molder ready. So they're like, well, we already have the molding. Let's just keep making it. And I'm like, okay, I get that. But also it's like, we don't need 50 of them. <laughs> so it's like, I, I would like a little, if you're gonna stick with just accessories, give us more variety of different accessories, I think would be really good. But again, the laptop is hyper real and the cell phone is so real because she's on Instagram. <gasps> she's on Instagram posting. That's cool. See the picture of the laptop? She's posting the picture she just sketched on Instagram. So I like that they're giving us that realistic thing where it's just not like a cute little sticker no the picture on there is something that you would actually do like people would go on instagram on youtube on you know what i mean so that i do appreciate overall though again i have to open up more of them i do have another doll that came in one said she's going to take a week and a half to get here but i do have another doll from series five that i'm going to be opening up today so let me know in the comments how are we feeling is it weird that it doesn't say series five on the box did they forget to put series five or is this not series five I don't know. Either way, she's great. So let me know in the comments if you have any of this like staining issue on the dress because so far I haven't seen anybody say anything, but there's stains on the dress and now there's a hole in it. Okay, the bow is gonna have to just, <laughs> the bow is gonna have to just wrap around her and cover the hole, but she's really so pretty. I'm gonna need another one of her and try to like restyle her and make her look like a me if I put my hair pink again. Oh, all right, until next time, check out more stuff from me in the description below. And I had, honestly, she's really beautiful. If you're thinking about getting her, just, it, she's she's worth it. My, again, the stains, yes, but I think she's really pretty. Look out for it, maybe. Maybe if you see her in the store, see if she doesn't have a stain and get that one. Like I said, this is from Amazon, so I couldn't pre-pick her. But at least her eyes are perfect. So, all right, bye, everybody. Bye.